Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will model this earpiece. Actually, this is a challenge from our Discord group. The aim was to model and to render that earpiece, very similar to that reference. And these are the results from the people who participated. And this week's challenge, this lighter. So if you want to join these challenges, you can join our Discord group. The link will be in the description. So also this story will may be harder for beginners to follow up because I used many shortcuts and uh, it was a little bit faster. Sorry for that. It was a live recording. And at the end of the tutorial, I will give you a quick review of my render and light setup. So let's get started. I'll start with the image planes as usual. I will import my image, copy the path, and paste it over to my back. Now I can create my first object. It's going to be a cylinder. Let's center that. Make it bigger. But let me first offset my image plane. Yes, good. Now I will increase my rotation segments to something like 24 so I will get these center edges which I can use symmetry also I will need a higher resolution because I will these additional details like this this one let's make it editable move the points also I will delete the polygons or caps I will only work with edges for now extra two times also I will add a subdivision surface and move my object to match the shape now I can double click here make an extrude Also, I will delete that side. Also, these ones because I have these center edges which I can use for symmetry. Now, I will try to align these new edges to match that shape. All right, now let's the symmetry object not this side this way so I can start extrude that part before doing that I need to make symmetry editable because I will create a new path starting from here and I will delete these ones and this but before doing that I will slide this point now I can delete them also now I need to create a new path because I have a triangle here. To do that, let's use line cut and dissolve these edges. Now let's select these ones. And extrude. After that, I will scale them, scale them to zero on the z-axis. Just like that. Now, I need to make these polygons flat. Same for the button polygons. And move that point.
All right, looks good. Now let's exit these ones. Merge these points. I will try to close that gap with bridge tool. Then close polygon hole tool, switch to points mode, and connect these points with line cut. Let's not forget this. Extrude. Then merge the points. I will move these points here. Then make a bridge here. But it's not going to be enough. And uh, it's the wrong edges. Let's do that one more time. I think I will need a point right here. So I can move it here. Also, anyone to here. I believe that these are not going to be enough, so I will create a new pet. Okay. Now I have that triangle to get rid of that. Create a new pet. But this also created another one. So I can do that and dissolve that one. Let's move it somewhere here. Okay, now I see that these polygons should be flat to match that metal part. So let's scale them on the Z. X to zero. Also, this should be somewhere here. Let's select them both and make them flat. And move these points. Now I can close that gap with bridge. And close polygon hole tool. After that, I can connect these points. Perfect. Now let's a subdivision surface to see what we got. Let's not forget to extrude these ones. I will scale them from the very bottom. Just like so. Now I will start with my loop cuts. I have got these new center polygons. I need to delete them because I will use symmetry. I also need to check the points in center and set them to zero, both size and position, so I can the symmetry no and it's gonna work perfectly let's start with these loop cuts So it looks like that these edges should be sharper. To do that, I can use these edges. Connect this to that one. And that this. So now I can get rid of get rid of these edges. Push these up. Nice. 
I also want these edges to be closer to these upper edges, which make it sharper. Now let's look at from behind. And I think these needs a little bit adjustments. All right, now I can make that hole in the back. To do that first, let me calculate how many segments I will need. I think these are going to be enough. Now I will convert them to points. Remove the remove the center points. I have eight points. Multiply, multiply that with two, sixteen, and remove two because of the symmetry, which will make fourteen. So I will create a, a disk with a 14 segments. Move it to here. Scale that. Alright. For making an extra thinner, I will check on these options. Then I can make a good extra thinner. After that, snap enabled i will move this point i need to rotate my disk because it has 14 edges it's not going to be in the center so let's rotate it i believe that 13 will be good for that now i can move my points to mesh the disk all right i can delete that disk also delete these polygons Edge mod, extrude. Now I will scale them. So I am going to offset my axis. One more extrude and we are done. Except that these look cuts. So now I will get this long angle problem. Just turn off edge breaks and increase your angle to something like 100. For moving forward, I will let these look at and move some of the points. Okay, now I will double click on these edges, press Ctrl one more time. And the last time, I need to split these ones, but there is something wrong in here, so I will undo that. Scale down one more time. I will select these new ones with the slope selection tool, split them, go back to the original one, and delete. Also, I will make these one group so symmetry will work. Enable subdivision surface. Hit these loop cuts. I think these are should be smaller. Right. Another extrude for this. And same thing for that one. Now let's jump into that piece. I will create a disk. Position it here. I will increase my segments. Let's make it 24. Make it editable. Select all. And extrude with caps on. I can use symmetry in that 
object too so i can delete this side and put it into my symmetry group so now i need to select the polygons but they are too big for that shape so i can simply select this like that then deselect this give it a back view press ctrl extrude then scale them to zero then i will make a loop cut right around here select these new edges scale them to zero select these polygons and extrude some little adjustments over here now i can select that edge and bevel i think one subdivision will be enough let's lower these points maybe i can move these like that make the space between them even let's activate subdivision surface to see where we will need loop cuts and i will turn these off for now first thing i need to connect these empty points with line cuts first a loop cut then finish it with the line cuts same here for here i will do the same thing loop cut then finish it with a line cut now i will select the sharp edges and i will use light tool with pressing ctrl Uh, I forgot these edges. Let's select them and do that one more time. So in order to make that edge sharper, I will make a new pet here, which connect, which connects here. Then I can dissolve these edges. Perfect. Now let's another look at here, which will hold that shape. Now I will need that look at. I think the shape is okay. This look at to fill the gaps. so i can get rid of these edges so i will get full quad polygons same for the bottom ones oh let's look at that bottom side i will create another cylinder but i can use that objects axis center my new cylinder press shift and create this new cylinder. I'm gonna create this new cylinder right in the center of that, that that disk. If you create another one, you will see that it's gonna be right in the zero in the work position. So now let's scale that. I think twelve will be enough for the segments. Make it editable. Move the points. Extrude these, select these new ones with loop selection tool and extrude. I think this is going to be better if I use extrude tool. Just like that. But it looks like something is wrong. I don't know. Yes, I have these duplicated points because that cylinder is under my symmetry group. So I will take that out of that group. I will not use symmetry for this one. Uh, 
I can continue like that. Now I will let this look to cut. Actually, let's let this loop cut right in the center. Press Shift, add loop cut, and do the same thing one more time. Now I will split these polygons slightly scale but i don't want the scale on the z so i will turn off z all right now i will subdivide that object a few times but make sure that you enable some subdivision one more time i will not need this horizontal loop cuts so I can dissolve them. I will select these edges leaving one behind them. I think it's gonna be easier if I select them from top. Let's convert them to edges, press control to and select edge mode and I will slightly scale them. But I Locked my Z, so I will turn that off. This time I will turn uh, lock my Y. All right, now I can select them all and extrude. I will increase my angle. Perfect. Now I will select these. Press Control, make an extrusion, convert them to points. Select brush tool. It's smooth mod. I will do that for these edges too. But I forgot to add sporting edges, so I will undo that every time. Select all the edges, then select the top once. Select bevel. It's only zero subdivision. Now I can extrude and extrude these edges, convert them to points and brush. These loop cuts will hold the edges. Now let's see what we got. I will add a subdivision surface. And I can add these ones. Okay, looks good. Also, let's center the axis. Duplicate that. I think I need to scale these a little bit until it touch the first cylinder. Now I will add these loop cuts for that cylinder. Also here. I will merge these, uh, sorry, split these polygons for this new object. And I will extrude that with caps on. It's too weak, so let's scale that. Oops, let's undo that because I was, I locked my Y, so unlock that. So the bottom part looks a lot curvier than the top, so let's make an extrude, then scale it. And one last extrude inner, and one last look at here. Maybe we can add one here to hold the shape. I will make an extrude inner, extrude that, then I will split, go back to the original one and delete, and extrude these new polygons, and delete these polygons. So now what we have, I will need that cable, to do that I will use splines, before that I will turn on these objects. 
go to splunk pan i believe b splunk would be better then play with the points Now let's create a circle for the nerves. Press Alt, select, sweep, and put the spline inside. I will scale my circle a little. Also, I will lower the resolution of that sweep. First, I will go to circle and decrease my number. Then, same for the spline. And I will not any caps, so let's turn them off. I will create a little hole here. So I can hide that cable. Select these. Make an extrude inner. I will scale them from the center. And extrude. I can put that sweep under my subdivision surface group, not symmetry. I think I forgot to add that loop cut here. And I'm gonna make it smaller. Or I can just scale that. Now let's quickly make the last part. It's gonna be really easy, just a cylinder. Let's keep it 16. Make it editable. I will extrude that two times and maybe we can make that edge loop larger and extrude inner and delete for the back side I will make two extrudes slight scale make an extra dinner and delete to give that piece a thickness i can extrude these inwards and let's put that into our side vision group all right so we will need we will need some adjustments And I will need a loop cut right here to make it sharper. And we have a small kind of seam here. So to imitate that, I will edit these loop cuts and slightly scale the edges in the center. I think I can move these like that. Okay, now it's time to make that screw wall. I will move this down. So I made a space for that hole. I will convert these to points. There is 12. I will create a disk with 12 segments, rotation segments. So this is going to be a reference for me. Go back to that object. I want to see only these objects, so I will say hide unselected. Also, I will solo the object, turn off the symmetry. Accept that the disk. So now I can make an extrude inner. Enable snapping and smooth the points. 
I can delete this insight. New edges is a little off considering the rotation. So I am going to double click on these and rotate them. I can unhide other polygons. Root. One more time. Now let's try to make that screw inside that hall. I can copy these polygons, split them, make it bigger. I will subdivide them. Then I can select this half and mask these, also these ones. I will leave that center edge alone. Then connect these points. Can delete these ones. Then extrude them all. Deselect these in the center and extrude one more time. Now I will select the edges that should be sharper. But I forgot something here, I believe. So I'll go back. About these points. Now I will select the edges that should be sharper, like these ones. Then I will use bevel tool with zero subdivision. I can change my multi-ring to uniform. So it's gonna change that triangle. Except that polygons. To get rid of them, I will create a new path. Just like that, so I can select these center edges and dissolve them. Let's do the same thing for here. Now I will organize my setup objects. For example, I can make that symmetry editable. Turn off solo. And on the make one group, I can use that one, make that sleep editable, delete that one, and finally I will create a cube, set the dimensions to something like three centimeters. Then I will scale my object. So now this is going to be more realistic. Also, let's center that in our world. For rendering, I used Cinema 4 on render engine this time used physical and add a global illumination and ambient collision for the physical options i just set it to progressive created a new camera with a high local length like 125 then put the sky and for the hdri i picked something like that I always use that HDRI for this kind of product renderings and put a color over that, a blue tint slightly and multiply that. So for the background, I created the background to material on with luminous enabled and pick the color from that image with that pick tool for the materials i create basic black diffused material for the reflectance i put a ggx and set my roughness to 55 for the metal part i set my color to black for the reflectance i make made one 
GGX layer with a rough surface, then put a noise in my layer color to give that noise pattern. Then edit a second GGX for kind of act like a coat, a car paint material. And made a second one and made them darker. For this cable material, I set my color to black, reflectance, GGX with a rough uh, 65 roughness. For the bump, I choose to send for these tiles shader so i selected this scales one applied this to the cable and scale them since i didn't do any uv unwrapping these are all set to projection like quick and this is the result And this is the old reference image. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to join the next challenge, you can join our Discord group and show you what you got. So, I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye.